Welcome back to Better Living. I'm joined now by John from Jupe Mode. I've heard all about Jupe Mode because of my friend Jeremy Baumhauer. He, uh, he talks about the great shirts. He's wearing one all the time. In fact, I'm pretty sure he has worn your short, shirt, a shirt from you, on the air here on our show before. And I have seen him promoting the newest shirt, one of the newest shirts you have on uh, social media, on his Facebook page, yes. because you made him a shirt for his Kringle Crumbs. Yes. Uh, in addition to selling retail shirts, we do print custom T-shirts. and. We printed that shirt for him. It was a lot of fun to, to do that. It's a fun graphic, and it's, it's a cool project that he has. Yes, it is. Well, let's talk about what you do. You do a lot of Toledo City Pride t-shirts, don't you? Yes, our niche right now, uh, we sell online and through a few different stores in town. Um, our most popular shirt says, you will do better in Toledo. Uh, we have other shirts that are, are nostalgic for Toledo. They remind people the history of Toledo. We have a Lion Store shirt, a Tid Key shirt, we recently remade the Toledo Zoo Panda Exhibit shirt. Yeah. And so it's people that remind, it's for people to remind them of what they like about Toledo, um, the great resources that we have and institutions that we have here. And I love, it's all about taking pride. I mean, literally Absolutely. taking yes. pride in our area. Why is that so important? Why is it so important that people shop local and, and support our local businesses? Yeah. I, I think it's important because in Toledo, it, it's, it's a city where it's often overlooked. Mm -hmm. if, if you look at our history, you, we have a, a very strong history. And you look back to the early 1900s, and Toledo was on, on the forefront, certainly in, in the area. And so when we're reminded of our history, I think it helps us understand our potential, you know, that we have right now and going forward. I think we're seeing a, a lot of exciting changes occur in the city. And we like to remind people of that history so that we can see what, what's in store for us. Well, let's talk about how Jupe Mode started. What made you start it and how did it start? We actually started, um, the first shirt we ever created was a Jim Trestle sweater vest t-shirt. Love it. Right, which was licensed by The Ohio State University. And as our business evolved over the years, we uh, three years ago started printing shirts on our own. So all the shirts that we sell, we screen print ourselves in-house. Um, and we do custom t-shirts for all sorts of businesses, organizations, churches, races, things like that. So you're, you're sitting at home one day, you're sitting around on the couch. Right. What makes you think, I'm going to start a t-shirt printing business? It was really just something I said on a whim. I said to my dad while we were watching an Ohio State football game that somebody should make a Jim Trussell sweater vest t-shirt. Essentially, it'd be like a uh, a tuxedo t-shirt but for Jim Trestle because he has such a unique yes. outfit on the sidelines and so it it was almost a mistake that it happened and it wasn't something that I, that I planned to do and it took off and um, you know became a little bit more of a hobby uh, something that I knew that I that we could pursue and um, since we've been printing for other people we've grown quite a bit um, there are five employees we have five employees now uh, we have a print studio in Perrysburg, um, and so it's been pretty exciting those last three years. Why do you think there's such an interest? Because there really is an interest right. in the vintage thing. I don't know if you ever listen um, on ESPN. There's a his and her show, and right. they wear, I mean, that's their thing. Like, right. they seek out these vintage T-shirts, and they won't tell anybody where they got them. It's uh -huh. a big secret. They don't want to. Right. There really is a, an interest in those. Why do you think it is? I think it's uh, for a few reasons. Um, I, first and foremost, I think people like to be proud of the things that they're involved in. It, it, it's much more fun to be actively engaged where you live sure. and with the things that you do. And I think that's a big part of it. I think there are a lot of people in town that are giving everyone reasons to be excited about Toledo. Jessica Crossfield, she just started Handmade Toledo and she has a shop on Adam Street in Uptown. And it's examples like that of people doing really neat things where no one realized there was a market for that. And then it occurred, and, and it's been very, very successful. And I think, um, I, I think we are seeing a, a sort of renaissance for that, people who want to take pride and, and have been waiting to take pride in Toledo. Let's talk about, it's not just t-shirts. Uh, right. You brought some coffee. You will do better in Toledo, a whole bean coffee. You can get right. this at Jupe Mode as well, right? Yes. It's a partnership with Maddie and Bella Coffee Company. Uh, they're a local roaster. 
And the reason we did this right now is because yesterday was actually the 101st anniversary yes. of the You Will Do Better in Toledo sign being lit in downtown Toledo. And so this was a fun thing for us to do. Um, as a company, we do have a, a pretty rich history for coffee. Um, for a while, I worked in a, a local coffee shop, and so did Shannon, who uh, works for us as well. And so coffee is something that's important to us. You know, we're probably a lot like other companies where we kind of live on coffee. Well, yeah, it's still, and, what time is it? It's 11.25, right. and I'm still drinking mine. So, yes, right. I get that. Huh? And so it was a fun partnership for us. Um, in the, in, in the past six months, we've introduced new products. We're doing socks now. We have hats, um, more than just items that are screen printed. And Maddie and Bella came to us with this idea. We really like it. It's a great coffee. And it's just another example of someone else who is making something local. They're doing a great job with it. Um, and it shows the potential for, um, you know, other area Love producers. It. All right. Well, jupemode.com, right. you can get lots of stuff there. Yes. And they are telling us more and more why you will do better in Toledo. We'll be right back on Better Living.